thing you want to solve that is a, like, you are here, you figure this thing out, or this is your primary question, or this is your primary thing you're focusing on going into the end of the year. This whiteboard back here, put your name and what the challenge is so that we don't leave the room without solving that. What type of lead magnets or pain points do you guys have that would be really helpful? Looking for the best places to hold liquid money that you can reinvest in other things. What is smart about that is you're starting with the target market and what are they thinking about on a regular basis? And there's all, and when there's a superhero movie, there's, right. you, you never have to think of the theme. It's just yeah. another superhero movie. Right? If we were to do this for uh, capitalism.com, we'd do like the Jeff Sessions special. Like <laughs> celebrating the resignation of Jess Sessions here at Capitalism.com, so you get this. There's no reason for the sale. Um, <laughs> <laughs> in a van over the US, so that's that's cool. I like that. Amazing. And during, I think, while they did that, they also wrestled, wrestled alligators, right? So that was what? awesome. He explained that wrestled alligators. Wrestled alligators. Wrestle yeah, alligators. I heard them. Yeah. Yeah. And what? Yeah. <laughs> you wrestled alligators? Yeah. Where? I didn't know that about it. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Sam told me that he loves to meet people and that he finds in this sort of environment of like-minded people you can really get to know people a lot better and quicker and make the sort of relationships that are going to last and hopefully help you grow. Um, what's on his mind? I will tell you. Um, he said that this has been a great and challenging year and he told me that he's focused more on personal development this year whereas in the previous eight years he's been very business driven or he's allowed himself the time to do something just for the pleasure of doing it and even if it's not particularly productive towards his business although he did say that it has probably um, been productive in a different way if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> like it has had benefits in different areas of his life yes okay, <laughs> okay I'm going to present Gemma she came here from Australia for this meeting with her sister um, she had a ballet CD that made $100,000 online without any promotion as her first step of uh, entrepreneurship. She's also a professional ballet dancer. Into 2018, she's thinking about maximizing sales for Q4 and increasing her market share. So she's focused on increased distribution and doubling down on the marketing of her existing products. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You had 4,200. You had 4,200 clicks to your website, right? Yeah, yeah. And what was the total cost? 191. Hold on. Who, who's good at numbers? 191 dollars and 4,200. Guys, that is less than five cents a click. You convert at 10 percent. That's 50, and it's a coupon. That is 50 cent opt-ins. 50 cent opt-ins have not existed since 2009. 
I'm out. What did they buy from your brand instead of any of the other competitors? Uh, what is a singular thing that you can offer? Right, your customers are going through life as the hero in their own story. They're, your brand is not the hero in their story, right? Your brand is enabling them to feel heroic. I am a hero at bath time with my kids, right? Like, that is a powerful fucking message, right? What mom doesn't want to be a hero with your kids, right? Um, and so like, if you can answer those questions, great. But if you, do, if you don't have this level, you do not have license to answer those questions. So my business is uh, real estate, so I, I much prefer the acquisition versus the disposition. So acquiring property, get good, a good deal at a low price. If you're gonna be doing a lot of content, if you're gonna be pushing content out through all these various channels and stuff like that, you wanna have a story to tell. I know I have opportunity to grow some more on Amazon with what I have, but I also recognize that I really need to shift my focus and focus more on um, building my Shopify store. And my goal is to grow my market share with my current items to Just start. Just what do you sell? <clears throat> I'm the bath bomb lady. We do bath bombs. The biggest aha that you shared for me was the story that you told about baths being helpful for depression. Yeah. Because that is a viral piece of content that you can tie to the squeeze page or a mini chat sequence. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All you need to do is look at a, like a, um, what was, what's the, this, a stock footage video where you have like, you just have stock footage that's, what, what is that tool that people use to make videos of the stock footage? In, mm -hmm. like, okay. What is it? And there's one in a model, but then, um, Something fun. Mm -hmm. That one. What is it? Lumen five. Lumen five. Lumen five. So making videos around those pain points, and you'll have to make five or six, yeah. and just test them. That is absolute gold. That's the only content you need to make. Because if you can show, if all you have to say is like, new re new research, mm -hmm. new idea shows that. Taking a bath is even more helpful for depression than, would you say, exercise? Exercise, yeah. For years, people have been saying exercise is the best. You know this better yeah. than me. Yeah. And now everyone goes, huh. That's the point of content. To make somebody go, huh. That's a, that is your only job. And if you do that, you get shares on that, you can boost that, and that. That will do wonders. That that I think it, that is your marketing play. I think that's what I'm struggling. Your with. your audience is going to come like in From. in your world. Your audience is your email list mm -hmm. that you have driven through social media content. That content being those pain point videos going into email, <clears throat> and now you have a conversion mechanism. That's your audience. That is building an audience. Okay. Yeah. And would you focus, what would you do for kind of your ongoing content for the people in your audience? Or is that less of a focus? Do I just focus on cold traffic and pain points? In an email list? Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking like I need to keep coming up with other content for the people on my list. So I think the recommendation of reposting stuff on social media is good, but that's engagement. That, yeah. that is made to engage. Email is where business gets done. You don't worry about sending content. You worry about making them offers. And that doesn't mean that the offer has to be like, you know, 80% off every time or 20%. Amen. Like, it's, the offer can be tied into the storytelling that we're telling earlier. You can yeah. share customer stories and then link it to an offer. Right. You can right. tell stories about new products and products you're developing. You can make it like still relationship building activities. It's just connected to it. Right. Right. Okay. So I don't think of it as like direct responses, like yelling 
deals at them the whole time. Correct. Yeah. That's what you How often do you think I need to do on Let's worry about, so you were thinking, you were thinking three dominoes ahead. Okay. And so part of my slash our job is to bring you down here and look at the next domino. Because I, like everyone else, have a tendency to think five dominoes ahead, and then you're like, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and the reality is, you, you just need to do the one domino. And your one domino, like the, this is all good feedback, mm -hmm. and the thing that you need to focus on is how you start that process, and you do that with the videos that you mentioned, mm -hmm. and maybe partnering with influencers, and then you address the rest. Then you address the rest of Cool, and I got Ryan, so, and this did surprise me. Um, so he says, it would surprise most of the people in the room that my passions have changed massively in the last year. So his desire to own the Indians has lessened greatly. He's been focusing on happiness instead of growth, and he also hasn't seen an episode of Survivor in three seasons. <gasps> <laughs> Never missed an episode for 30 seasons. Wow. Um, yeah, so what's on your mind as you head into the final months of 2018? Obviously, Capitalism Conference is coming up, so his most stressful thing that he does is obviously top of mind, um, and growing the new mentoring program, as well as the monthly financial newsletter for 1%.